Hey there, this is Tyler from WTFX. Today we're looking at a lesser known but still a great plugin for motion graphics. Let's dive in. CC Flow Motion. As stated, this is a great plugin for motion graphics, animation, or if you simply want to make some fun, psychedelic stuff for your hippie college roommate Steve. What? Nothing, Steve. Go back to staring at the wall. All right. Luckily, the effect is pretty easy to use. The first thing you need to know is that you're given two knots, here and here. These mark where the effect is going to happen. You're able to adjust them by dragging them around, sliding the X or Y coordinates on either of the knots, or simply clicking the bullseye and clicking again anywhere in the window. What's nice about these points is that they don't affect each other like in CC Bended or CC Bender. If you only need one of the knots, simply ignore the one you don't want and change the amount for the one you want to keep. Amount tells the effect how much to suck in the image. If the number goes far enough into either direction, you get this cool kaleidoscope type of effect. If the number goes higher, the effect seems to suck into itself. If the number goes into the negative, the image seems to inflate. Checking finer controls reduces the amount to 5% of itself. What I mean by this is, let's type 1000 into the amount. Once I check the finer controls box, it appears to have gone back to the beginning as if it were closer to zero than 1000. I will predict that this looks the same as if we had simply typed 50 into the amount box because 50, 50, is 5% of 1000. To verify this, I'll take a snapshot of the screen. Let's uncheck finer controls and change the amount to 50, 50. When I show the snapshot compared to this change, you can see that it's the same. Reducing the amount to only 5% of itself really allows you to slow down the controls. As stated, this effect gives off a kaleidoscope type of effect, and this is because of the tile edges option. What this does is once it's checked, it allows the edges to repeat indefinitely, which is where we get that kaleidoscope look, much to Steve's delight. What? Nothing, Steve. Here are your Funyuns. Awesome. To best demonstrate this, we'll change the amount back to zero and turn off the tile edges option. As we change the amount, you can see that the image seems to suck in on itself. Anti-aliasing basically helps to blend the pixels that are being changed by the effect. Now, be aware this is pretty subtle, but you can see when we zoom in and change this to low, the pixels are pretty crisp, and when we change it to medium, there's a bit of blending, and high gives us the highest amount of pixel blending. This leaves fall off. This setting defaults at 1 but ranges from 0 to 10. Fall off is a way of slowing down or speeding up how much of the screen is taken up by the effect. If you look at the sides of the comp, when we slide this number closer to 0, the sides of the image seem to be reverting back to their original position, while the area around the knot seems to be getting deeper. However, once we change the number to get closer to 10, it does the opposite. It looks like the sides of the comp are getting sucked in while the center is getting closer to us until it reverts back to its original self. Whether you like the simplicity of the effect or are inspired to create some graphics, I think there's one thing we all can agree on. Steve is going to be entertained for hours with this thing. Thanks for watching. Hey Steve, pass the funny. I am so sorry for what you just watched. See that big red subscribe button? Definitely don't click that and don't hit the bell icon either because doing either of those will let you know when we upload new content. And you see those two clips of the other videos that we made? You don't want to check those out either. Just steer clear of them. I mean, you, you just watch one of our videos. That's why. In fact, what you may even want to do is, is just shut down your computer. If you live near a canal or a river, maybe even take the computer and just throw it in one of them.